everybody, this is Treasure Fiend again. I'm out here in the Boy Scout camp, and I came across this. This is my first notable find for the day. Uh, in the same hole, let me zoom on in so you can see it. Well, it's a 41 Merc, and it's a, a 52 Roosevelt Diamond. Um, all in the same hole. I'm actually in some kind of briars or thicket here. Uh, figured this would be the best place that wasn't touched. I'm here with Twisted. You're killing me. <laughs> Not having a good day? Oh, it's alright. Until that guy showed up. <laughs> there was a guy that, that showed up here that uh, we thought we were doing good today. And then he literally spanked us with his finds. Uh, we seen him in action. He pulled out like 10 mercuries, you know, in no time. And she was just flying around getting everything. But, you know, oh well. Feeds their own pace. There it is again. There's my hole. And there's my finds. Well, everybody, found another coin. It's also another first for me. Uh, here's the hole I dug it from. Let me get this down in here so you can see it. That, my friends, is my first, very first wheat penny. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the date on it, we think I need to take it home and wash it, but me and Twisted think that it's 1927, so not too shabby. I'll, let, I'll show you guys when we find something else. Hey, everybody. We got a fantastic find. Uh, I'm putting this on the same level as that Statue of Liberty slide that I found. Well, first off, here's my hole. I dug it with the D-handle shovel. And out pops this little beauty. Let's see if you can read it. And it's, it's readable. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but it's a, a licensed chauffeur, Illinois, dated 1928. Uh, badge number 73622. Uh, it has some kind of engraving on it up at the top. I gotta clean it off. Looks like the state seal. But you know, there's the back of it. Boy, I'm on cloud nine with this one. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys like it. Hey guys, uh, I found something. I, uh, it was pretty cool. It's my first one that I found intact. So I figured I'll throw it on the video. It's an old Boy Scouts knife, and it's the first one I found that, like I said, it's still intact. Uh, it does have like a little eagle. Hopefully you could see that. I'm going to take it home and see uh, see if I can't clean it up better. Uh, soaking in some oil. Hopefully I could try to get the knife open, but I won't try breaking it. But figured I'd show you. And here's another find down in this hole. There's two in this hole actually. Uh, it's another Boy Scout, or I mean I'm sorry, a Cub Scout slide. And it's a Jefferson Nickel. Uh, it's, let's see, uh, it's not that old. It's uh, 1964. Uh, that sucks. I wish it was older, but a find is a find. I'm going to have to take it home and clean it up to see if there's a mint mark, but that's it. I think I'm going to call it quits for today, guys. So, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, this is the end of the day. Uh, we're back at the, at the cars. Uh, and let's see what Twisted found today. Uh, here's his finds. Uh, he found a ring, uh, a copper ring. He's got to go home and clean that off. It looks like there's stuff on the sides. Uh, great find. Awesome find. Uh, he found a, a, a war nickel, 1944P. And also a, a, a wheat scent. You know, can't really see the date. It's all got to be cleaned off. But you know, all in all, an awesome day, wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. Time for lunch. Yeah, and there's all the silverware he found. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope everybody likes this video. Let me know what you think. Bye. Well, I'm home now. Uh, and I had a chance to rinse everything off. And I'm going to show you my stuff. Uh, 
and start off with this knife. It's an intact knife. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever be able to open it. Uh, all the, the blades are all in one big lump of rust. But it's, it's complete. I usually find them all in pieces. Um, and this is a first for me for it. It's an actual Boy Scout knife. How cool is that? Um, off to this knife over here. Uh, this is also another first for me. Uh, first in two days. This one's a standard Scout. Um, so two Boy Scout pocket knives. Um, found another Boy Scout uh, neck slide. Two keys. Let's see if you can't see those. I don't know how old they are, but if you see these and know anything about them, you know, let me know. Uh, this little button, I don't know what it went to, but came up as a penny. Uh, this right here, I'm thinking it's either from a stopwatch or it's from a, a, a pocket watch. Uh, it does have a serial number, but no uh, date anywhere on it. I don't know if, if anybody knows about pocket watches, if they could tell me if this is from a pocket watch. Uh, that'd be really cool. Uh, now on to the, the major find of the day. Check this out, folks. 1928 licensed chauffeur. <laughs> How cool is that? This just made my whole season. If I don't find anything else, that that's... That for, when I dug it up, I thought it was a, a, a dog license. Uh, the pin's missing on the back, but it still has a part of the post. But, <laughs> you know, how cool is that? That just made my whole season. And it has a little bit on that. So now on to my coins that I found. I found another Merc. Uh, this one's in 1941. Uh, detail's pretty good on it still. Uh, and the mint mark? No, no mint mark. Just 1941. Uh... Then I found a 1952 Roosevelt. Let's show you the back. Uh, that one's also, that's a Denver. Uh, then this, I thought it was going to be a lot older, but it's only in 1964. Uh, D, it's an actual D, Denver. There's a mint mark on the back. Uh, then on to this, earlier on, we thought that it was a 1927. Uh, after taking it home, the 19's real pronounced, uh, but hopefully you can see that. It's a 1919S. I don't know if my hand's too shaky, but we weren't sure, or after I started washing it up, I thought it was maybe a 1915, but it's actually 1919S. Uh -huh. And this, these coins right here are, are a group of first. It's my first uh, silver Roosevelt dime. Uh, it's my first Jefferson nickel uh, outside of finding in tot lots. And this is my first wheat. So, all in all, I think it was a magnificent hunt.